I'll be making candied acorn squash, and it's not too sweet, so don't worry about the candy part. So the ingredients that you'll need is your acorn squash, some maple syrup and butter, cinnamon, a little bit of orange peel, and finally some chopped walnuts. And I'll have the exact recipe for you at the end of this video. So let's get started and I'll show you how I make it. I've washed my squash really well. Now I will cut it lengthwise. And you do have to be careful because these are extremely tough squashes. So just do your best and sometimes I whack it and I'm going to whack it right now. That's what it looks like inside. Now I'll just use a spoon and I'll scrape all the seeds out. And these seeds are wonderful to save. You could plant them. That looks pretty good. Just kind of get all that fibrous squash out of there. And I'll repeat that with the other side. I have a 13 by 9 baking pan and I've just lined it with some parchment paper. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I just like it for the ease of the cleanup. Take your two halves, face down, bake them in the oven, preheated 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. I need two tablespoons of butter. I'll put it in my mixing bowl and microwave it till it's melted. Next I'll add my maple syrup, one quarter of a cup, I'll add my maple syrup to my butter, use my rubber spatula to get every bit that I can out of there. And of course, you don't really even need to measure your maple syrup. You can kind of eyeball it so you don't have to mess up your measuring cup. Now I'll add my cinnamon. You want about an eighth of a teaspoon. This is actually a quarter of a teaspoon, so I'm filling it half full. Next you want a half a teaspoon of orange zest, and I've really scrubbed this orange really well. And I'll just use this little zester. You just want to get the orange part. You don't want to go into the pulpy white portion. It smells so delicious. So that's Probably almost enough right there. I'll get my measuring spoon and measure it. This is a half of a teaspoon again. And again, you do not have to use exact measurements, but I just wanted to show you how quickly you can zest up a half of a teaspoon of an orange. And so I'll add that to my butter mixture. I'll use my wire whisk. Whisk that all together. And that's all ready for when the squash comes out of the oven. Now they've been baking for the 45 minutes. I will flip them over. Be careful because they're really hot, of course. Now I'll spoon my butter maple syrup mixture into each piece of the squash. I'll give it another whisk. And 
again, just spoon it in. And I'll just go ahead and drizzle it along the very top. Now I have my chopped walnuts. I'll just sprinkle probably about a teaspoon into each section. That looks good. I'll pop it back into the oven for another 20 minutes. They're very, very tender. I'll go ahead and put them on a plate so you can see them a little better. This one you can see kind of leaked into the pan, but that's okay because I have the parchment paper on there. So there you have it, candied acorn squash. It's a really great little side dish. I hope you give it a try. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.